effectiveness of what are you doing around the world because we know that you're close to come father and we're um, waiting for you because we love you father we love you and you told us through jesus christ you gave us life because you're the life and now uh, we we pray and i ask father that uh, be you father today that is speak to 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 me father that i'm just a servant i'm just an instrument and open our heart to receive your word that gave us life since before the foundation of the world because you're eternal father thank you for for your kindness for your grace and we put this with time this time is your in your hands in the name of jesus whom is the christ we pray amen mm -hmm. amen so yeah so everything that uh as pastor thomas uh just uh read before um the world became flesh so the world we see that all this word that is written in the scriptures testified about the messiah so all of the all the word of god that is uh, uh in in the scriptures talks about this good news so when we see that this uh word became flesh is not uh other thing that the messiah coming to this world to uh, execute the, the salvation for mankind. So if the word became flesh, uh, the word fulfills everything that was written in the Bible because it's the word of the King of Kings. And as we read in Numbers, uh, God is not a man, he's the King of Kings, right? He is the one that if he says something, for sure he will fulfill his word he will accomplish his word and we see uh, as in this uh, uh, we're gonna see through this lecture that he fulfills everything that he that he told us about the messiah because that's the only answer that the mankind needs and we see that uh, we, we see uh, need to see how severe was the problem of mankind that God himself needed to come to resolve this problem of being separated from him so today we're going to see the prophecies about the messiah and their full, full fulfillment so uh, i apologize of my english if you don't understand some words my wife is here to help me always <laughs> <laughs> so um we're going to see that this good news uh, that were uh, foretold is um, um, through the scriptures, we're gonna see about his fulfillment in Jesus because he is the Christ. So he's the one that fulfills all the prophecies, more than 300 prophecies about the Messiah, about um, uh, the place of his birth, his life, his ministry, his miracles, his parables, uh, all, all of the prophecies were fulfilled. And there are some that we're waiting, we're waiting for, uh, for these prophecies. So, uh, and for sure, uh, they, those prophecies will be fulfilled by, by him. So let's see the, the first, the first one uh, about the, the offspring of the woman. So we see in Genesis 3:15 that then after, uh, after man, seen in the garden of eden that the first thing before all the we um the man starting to leave um separating from god first god gave us the solution always looking for the man to to get him the solution because the gospel is god is god with us gave us everything gave us life again and he gave us this promise that he, uh, he gave us this promise to be alive with him through the faith of this promise, this, this covenant in, in Genesis 3.15. That is, the, uh, I'm going to read it, and I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. And we see that uh, always in this, uh, this new uh, 
uh, promise about the Messiah that he's, he's gonna come to um, crush the head of the serpent, that um, the serpent will strike his field. So God is uh, giving us his word there. And we see that his word uh, talking, is talking about uh, prophesying about the Messiah here. And we see in this, in this verse that the Christ, the Christ um, about this promise because it's the word get, uh, was given us in this verse as we see the, the, the perfect prophet uh, starting doing the, the evangelization, sharing the good news that's gonna make us uh, with him. So we see that the, in this verse, same verse, we see the king uh, as um, defeating Satan, defeating the dead. Uh, and we see the priest uh, making this uh, sacrifice, this uh, shedding of, of blood about this Messiah. So we see that Christ here, we see that the promise uh, where uh, in, in, this, in this verse is very powerful because it's the answer. So we see in Galatians 4, 4 to 5, we, uh, we see here that but, uh, but when the set time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law that we might receive ado adoption to sonship. So we see, as uh, Genesis 3.15 says that of the offspring of the woman, uh, this Messiah uh, was going to come. So in Galatians, uh, we see this um, uh, explanation about the Messiah so that he born of, uh, uh, from a woman, right? So, and we see it always because God, uh, uh, of course, he's uh, um, of the, uh, of the, um, he's, he's going to come from the um, a certain family that his people in, in the flesh but he's the son of God, right? So that's why we see that directly God um, put through the Holy Spirit in the Holy Spirit about this, this birth in this boy. So um, son of Abraham, uh, let's gonna see uh, another prophecy about that son of Abraham, Genesis 12, three says that I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all peoples, all peoples on the earth will be blessed through you, right? So what is the, what is the blessing? What is the blessing is to be with God. So we see that that's the main blessing of mankind to be with God. So um, he says, I will bless those who bless you. And he says, and whoever curses you, I will curse. So he's going to be the son of Abraham uh, in, in this um uh, in this way to born uh, in flesh. So, but the most important thing here is that uh, all peoples on earth will be blessed through you so in this um, uh, about the Messiah, because we see that the problem will be resolved. That's the, through, through the Christ. That's why, um, that's the main blessing. So, and we see in Matthew 1, 1, we see the fulfillment the word always uh, tells us the fulfilling exactly of this prophecy. The word itself uh, told us in Matthew 1.1, 1, 1, this is the genealogy of Jesus, the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham, right? So the word of God explains us very, very clear about the, um, the way that the Messiah uh, was to come, right? The son of Abraham and through this Christ will be blessed because he is the, the answer of mankind because he is the Christ. So uh, let's uh, see another prophecy and we're going to read a lot of prophecies. Uh, I'm going to stop in one of them to see a little bit more uh, deeply. So born in Bethlehem and Bethlehem, we see this in Micah 5, 2. But you, uh, Bethlehem, Ephrata, through you are small among the clans of Judah. Out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, 
whose origins are from old, from ancient times. We see here in this uh, prophecy in Micah 5 2 that something that is eternal, right? Something that is going to rule over Israel. What kind of, of what kind of rule? What is uh, about this um, uh, this kingdom? Was talking about about that he's our Lord, he's eternal, that he uh, is gonna uh, crush the the head of the serpent and as a, this perfect king that uh, gave us life again, that um, take us out from slavery, and we see that um, he's something eternal he's uh, yeah and we see exactly the place about the uh, born of this messiah of this christ so um, the word of god is so so exactly but always always all this um in this way in this, in this exactly way tells us about all the life of the messiah since and we see the fulfillment always in matthew 2 1 after jesus was born in bethlehem in judea during the time of King Herod, um, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem. So the word of God is answering, it's fu fulfilling this word that Jesus was fulfilling exactly right in Matthew 2, 1, that Jesus was born in Bethlehem, okay? So uh, this uh, eternal from ancient times, so this ruler over Israel will be born here. So Jesus, Jesus born exactly here and he was born of a virgin and Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 7 14 says therefore therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel yeah then we see and we know that Emmanuel means God with us and this very this is very it's very and i am very joyful because when i read this verse personally we see that that's the answer for mankind that if the problem of mankind is that is not with god is separate with god through this um um <clears throat> through this um uh, this son this child we're gonna be with God again. So it's, he, we, it's God with us. That's the problem resolved to this child, to this boy is the problem resolved of mankind. It's already resolved. And that's why it's, it's, it's simple. If the man, if man is separated from God, we see here the answer. So, and we see that um, this, uh, uh, this boy that's gonna be God with us, it's gonna burn up a virgin. So, and we see the fulfill, uh, the fulfillment in, in Luke 1, uh, 27, it says, to a virgin pledge to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David, the virgin's name was Mary. So, and the Lord uh, told us that Emmanuel, God with us, is gonna burn from a virgin. And in Luke 1, 27, we see the fulfillment, right? So we need to, um, understanding who are fulfilling these prophecies because we're giving testimony uh, who fulfill these prophecies and he who fulfilled this is Jesus and we see how Jesus born from uh, in the place um, of the seed of Abraham in exactly place from a virgin and everything is um, uh, fulfilling exactly in Luke 1 31 we see that you will conceive and give birth to a son and you are to call him Jesus right so Jesus the savior or savior so that's uh, uh, in the savior in 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 a manner that is is uh, is God with us again that we are going to be with God God again through, through him because he's the savior he's the way right he's the life so it's through him that we we gain life again because god is the life himself because he he is the life himself 
and this is uh, and now Jesus the Savior uh, born from a virgin as was established in the scriptures so we see another another uh, prophecy then that Herod's slaughter of boys Jeremiah uh, 31 15 he says and uh, this is what the Lord says a voice is heard in Ramah mourning and weeping Rachel weeping from uh, for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more and we see that uh, the fulfillment in Matthew 2 16 uh, when Herod realized then that he had been outwitted by, by the Magi, he was furious and he, made, he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. So we see always about um, this prophecy that is... Uh, talks about the, the, um, the work here. We see the work uh, always of, of Satan trying to stop right, the ministry of Jesus. He, and we see this, that even uh, the work here that we see of Satan, that to try to stop the Messiah, even this, uh, that's, a, that's a prophecy, right? That's a, um, and he's an, an instrument even to fulfill a prophecy, so God Almighty, and yeah, it's uh, it's amazing how even uh, this kind of uh, trying to trying to stop the the ministry of Jesus since uh, he was a child, and so that's a prophecy himself that um, uh, will be um, uh, Satan will be trying to stop this ministry as always, right? We see in Jesus uh, later. Uh, um, Tending him up in the desert, um, in other ways. So, but always uh, he this uh, uh, this war was uh, prophesied about that. But the Messiah uh, always, um, yeah, Satan was defeated since the before the foundation of the world. So, and we see another prophecy about his teaching, right? Uh, we see in Psalms uh, seventy-eight two, and I will I will open my mouth with a parable. I will utter hidden things, things from old, right? So here in, here in Psalms 28, 2, uh, we see that how um, uh, this, uh, uh, this Messiah, the Christ, will be uh, teaching, right, in parables. And we see that Jesus did this exactly in Matthew. Uh, we see the, here in Matthew, uh, the fulfillment, Matthew 13, 34 says, Jesus spoke all these things, to the crowd in parables he did not say anything to them without using a parable right so that's why he were he was talking always in parables about this mystery because as we say the scriptures um paul is uh, one of them that says that he was a mystery since the beginning and that's why jesus talked about in parables so because he's the one that opened or under our understanding about who is he, that he is the Christ. He's the one that is opening our understanding. And he's the one that is opening the understanding right now about the prophecies. And these prophecies were fulfilling by Jesus exactly. So it's the Holy Spirit told us this because this is by, this is an inter, uh, divine intervention to understand this, right? So in these parables, we see that Jesus explained those parables to the ones that have uh, that um, that are at, are with him, believing in him, and uh, he gave us grace to understand these parables that talks about the kingdom of the heavens, that talks about him, that all, and that's very uh, powerful because now he's explaining us um, through the gospel, and this in these last times he's explaining us who is he and that he's coming back very soon. So. Um, in Matthew 21, uh, 7 and 9, sorry, in, we're going to see another uh, prophecy before. In Zechariah 9, 9, uh, we see that he was entering the city in victory, the Messiah. And we see here in this verse, Zechariah 9, 9, rejoice greatly, daughter Zion, shout, daughter Jerusalem, see your king comes to you, righteous 
and victorious slowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the fool of a donkey. So um, we see exactly the fulfillment in a, in a perfection about, about this, the entering the city in victory, the Messiah uh, coming here uh, in Matthew uh, 21, 7, 9. So they, it's, it says, they brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. So Jesus here uh, always is, um, uh, all, he did all these things to show us that he is the king of kings, that he is the one, that he is the Christ fulfilling exactly. So sometimes we see that Jesus uh, was necessary to do certain things to um, uh, telling uh, certain things, mm, doing uh, certain actions, but all of these actions were not randomly. All that he said, all the things that he did, even the, the movements, the walkings, the travelings, the, the miracles, his words, they were not randomly. All these exactly movements that he did is that fulfilling it's exactly to fulfill the prophecies, but he was demonstrating, he was showing us, he was showing to his people about that, that he is the Messiah that he needs to fulfill in order in obedience, right? In obedience to the Father to fulfill exactly the prophecies that were written. So all the things that, all the details that, um, yeah, that he did was for uh, showing us that he's the Messiah, but uh, we see that sometimes people uh, shout, right, about Jesus. Sometimes people shout about uh, my Savior, as we see here, right? So they were recognized. But exactly were they following, exactly because he is the Christ. Maybe they know that he's the son of David. They, they know, but that did he really believe that? Because when the tribulation comes, we see that all these same people that were shouting, uh, later is the same people that shout that crucify him, right? So we need to to understand that if Jesus were doing these all these actions, it's because he's the one that told us that uh, I am the one that uh, I am coming to 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 fulfill everything and resolve your problem, right? Defeating Satan, uh, resolving the problem of sin, resolving the problem that you are separated from from God and I am the way I am fulfilling this according to the scriptures. So that's a very, very powerful to see always the actions of Jesus that were uh, giving testimony through his life, to his life, putting his life there, fulfilling the prophecies about um, the, the Messiah. So we see another prophecy and uh, in point number eight that uh, betrayed, he will be betrayed by a friend in Psalms uh, 41, 9, even my close friend, someone I trusted, one who shared my bread has turned against me. And we know uh, uh, the fulfillment. And we can see this fulfillment in Luke 22, 47, 48. Well, he, he was still speaking. A crowd came up and the man who was called Judas, uh, one of the 12, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him, but Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the son of man with a kiss? So again, um, in order to, to be this prophecy, uh, we need to understand that he, he came for to saving all the world. He came here to save all the world through the faith, even uh, Judas in the, in the last moment that he was betraying the, the Lord, the son of man. 
even Jesus knew that, but we see this in this question, right? Are you betraying the son of man with a kiss? So we see always that uh, God is um, uh, making us these kind of questions. Mm -hmm. um, always, always these kind of questions to make a repentance, make, give us the gift of repentance. Even, even Judas, even Jesus that knew that his friend, his close friend will deliver him. Uh, to be crucified even he with this answer and we see the uh, with this question right so we see always god uh, make make us questions to to realize in what state we are right in look in what state are, are, are you are you are right in, you see in the garden of eden uh, where are you right when the mankind when the man ate from the tree of the of the knowledge of good and evil and he uh, uh, made us a, a question, where, where are you, right? So we see that he always gave us an opportunity, even, even if Judas that was uh, written there that he's going to, to betray uh, Jesus, but he, gave, yeah, he um, says a question here that is very, is very powerful and always, always is to realize our state without him doing these things without him what is our stand uh, or state separate from him so is him gave us an opportunity to be with him again so and um, but we see the fulfillment of this prophecy and we see another uh, uh, fulfillment of the prophecy yeah and it's it's very it's very powerful here because there was a time and uh, that all these uh, a lot of prophecies that were uh, given to us in the scriptures in a time, in a period of time of 500 years, right? About the Messiah, about his, uh, his passion um, uh, with, uh, by the prophets, right? Telling us these, these prophecies about the Messiah in a lot of a period of time written and Jesus fulfilled all these prophecies in 24 hours. In 24 hours, he fulfilled a lot of prophecies that were uh, foretold in the scriptures, but in a, in a perfect way. Um, and we see uh, another uh, prophecy that uh, was fulfilled in his uh, last 24 hours in uh, that he will be sold for 30 pieces of silver. Um, and it says in Zechariah 11, 12, I told him, if you think it best, give me my pay, but if not, keep it. So they pay me 30 pieces of silver. And as we see that Judas received this, this payment for betraying the Lord. So, uh, and we see this in Matthew 26, 15, and asked, what are you willing to give me if I deliver him over you? So they counted out, uh, out for him 30 pieces uh, of silver. So exactly. Uh, we see in the in the in the prophecy in Zechariah about this payment and how um, even in the in the uh, sovereign of of God in the all um, almighty of God that He's Almighty, even He uh, used other people to fulfill His prophecies. But all the contexts were about the Messiah, right? So uh, we see His fulfillment in this in this. Uh, in this verse so <clears throat> we're gonna see uh, even other prophecy in Isaiah 56 it says I offer my back to those who beat me my cheeks to those who pull me uh, to pull out my birth I did not hide my face for mocking and spinning so we see the, uh, the same uh, the humiliation that the Messiah is going to suffer and that he's going to uh, to receive all these uh, actions. And we see the fulfillment in Matthew 26, uh, 67. It says, then they spit in his face and struck him with their fist. Other slapped him. So um, in this prophecy, we see that about the humiliation of, of that he's going to receive and that he, they will not recognize. But all this were, was written, right? So even people were not, believing in this moment that where the Messiah was uh, before them, 
right? All this was, um, they were fulfilling a prophecy because God were using these people to fulfill this prophecy, even the ones that didn't believe in him. Even the Jews that didn't believe in him, uh, they were using to fulfill this, pro this, this prophecy because everything is perfect plan about the, the, the Messiah. It's a perfect plan uh, of God. Even he used other people, even um, they didn't believe, but they were uh, participating in this, uh, in this uh, work of God. Um, and this uh, is very uh, important here because I want to just make a parenthesis here because we need to ask uh, to ourselves. Maybe I mean, this is something I, I always ask myself that maybe uh, we need to, to be uh, very conscious and I'm praying for these brothers. I told you because this is a concern that I have that are we really believing that the gospel because or are just uh, are being using as an instrument because there are people there are people they were people that were using and they were not believing in the messiah so always uh, I, I ask this to myself first that to take care that we really need to believe this gospel and to be instruments in a positive way to give testimony that he is the Christ uh, gaining life in myself because sometimes we see people that didn't believe and even God used these people right so this is something that I always uh, I am concerned in this that I am really believing the gospel with all my heart I really confess with my mouth but I really believe in my heart and I, I, I am and some in, uh, in instrument really that I am with him right so with him or I just uh, I am just an instrument using by him and at the end I won't finish the race so that's something that just um, this uh, prophecy that I see when I see this kind of prophecies that he used other people that didn't believe but used them for a purpose of the messiah so now we see that we are our work is to go to the nations to go and testify now we are those instruments but we need to be with him right to go and to be at the end to 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 finish this race but with him so that's why just uh uh, uh for instance here so just uh uh quickly before the the next prophecy so uh let's gonna uh, see the other the next one crucified alongside sinners we see that he was crucified alongside sinners and he this was foretold and as isaiah 53 12 it says therefore therefore i will give him a portion among the great and he will divide the spoils with the strong because he put out uh his life unto death he was numbered with the transgressors and for he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors and we see the fulfillment we see that the the messiah um, was uh, jesus was crucified alongside sinners jesus that in mark 15 27 uh, 27 says they crucified two rebels with him one of his right and one of his left so this is another prophecy um uh, of uh of how the Messiah is going to live his last uh, 24 hours and how he uh, is going to crucify alongside sinners. And we see another uh, prophecy in this exactly moment in the cross um, that he drank wine mixed uh, with gold. In Psalm 69, 21 says, they put gold in my food and gave me vinegar for my thirst. And Jesus uh, fulfill this in Matthew 27 34 it says there they offer Jesus wine to drink mixed with gold but after tasting it he refused to drink it <clears throat> so he all he was doing all these things again to showing us in the cross in this way that uh, just about to to uh, before his death in the flesh um, he was showing us that even here that you don't understand that I am in the cross because they were, are you the son of God, right? Uh, seriously, uh, dying in this way in the cross that uh, 
in, in this course, in this kind of humiliation, and Jesus uh, didn't stop doing the fulfillment of the prophecies, even there in the cross that people didn't understand that really is the son of God here or here in this cross. It uh, makes no sense, right? Because he's, uh, this is the king that's going to defeat all the, the, the empires, defeat all enemies around, really. So, but Jesus in this time, in this moment, he was only fulfilling the scriptures. He was exactly doing this. Even people didn't understand. Even people uh, didn't understand that he's, he's the, in this mystery in the cross, he was fulfilling this, the problem of mankind, right? But he, he continued. Um, he uh, kept doing all the things that uh, the Father uh, commanded him, right? To fulfill this great work to uh, saving mankind. And we, well, we see another prophecy that in, in the cross that happened there in the cross that his, mon, his bones were not broken. Um, Psalms 34, 20 says, he protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. And in John 19, 32, 33, uh, we see that this happens exactly as the scripture says. The soldiers therefore came and broke the legs of the first man who had been crucified with Jesus and then those of the other one. But when they came to Jesus and thought that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. <clears throat> so that's why exactly, right? So happens and Jesus fulfilled. Uh, in, in, he was already dead in the flesh. Uh, so that's why uh, they didn't broke his legs. Um, so I'm going to uh, be just... Um, I'm in a rush, so I'm going to read these verses uh, okay. fast, 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, he, uh, we see the next one. He was born in the tomb of a rich man, the, the Messiah. Um, uh, he will be uh, buried in the tomb of a rich man. And we see this in Isaiah 53, 9. He was assigned a grave with the weak and with the rich in his death. Through he has done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. And we see the fulfillment in Matthew 27, 57, 60. As evening approached, they came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who had himself become a disciple of Jesus, right? So uh, going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body, and Pilate ordered that it be given to him. Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut off of the rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb and went away. Mm, this is see that Jesus were fulfilling this exactly in this uh, in, in Joseph in, in him. And then the the next one is the the very powerful uh, um, prophecy that was written and because he's where he he exactly rise from the dead that he this was written that he's going to defeat death he's going to defeat satan and we see this in one of the prophecies in the old testament about his resurrection we see in Psalm 16 10 because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead nor will you let your faithful one see decay and we see this in Psalm 49 15 again but god will redeem me from the realm of the dead uh, he will surely take me to himself. And in 1 Corinthians 15, 4, that he was buried. Uh, he says that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day, according to the scriptures. That we see that they were all improving uh, through the scriptures, that Jesus fulfilled exactly, exactly the prophecies of the Messiah. And they were preaching his resurrection. Right, explaining what happened there through the scriptures, what is going to uh, the Christ was uh, going to do through this uh, to this work in the cross and in the resurrection. So they were testifying that he resurrected as was written in the scriptures. And another prophecy is that he's gonna ascend unto heaven. And in Psalm 68 18, when you it says, uh, Psalms 6 68. 18, when you ascended on high, you took many captives, you received gifts from people, even from the rebellious, 
that you, Lord God, might dwell there. And the fulfillment we see in Mark 19, after the Lord Jesus had spoke to them, he was taken up into heaven and he sat at the right hand of God, right? Um, you see, we see, and again, Jesus fulfilling exactly. Um, as we see, he did all fulfill all the, uh, the scriptures exactly. And um, you know that there are some people um, uh, currently right now in the world that they are, um, uh, they are telling people that they are the Christ, that they are the new Christ, that they are the, uh, they are the Messiah. But if really we have the understanding and we know this, the prophecies exactly, there are some prophecies about the Messiah that never can be replied, right? Because there are, there's a lot of people uh, deceiving, uh, deceiving people telling about that they are the new Messiah, that they are the, the, the yeah, the, the false Messiah. So, but uh, are they really are? Because there are some prophecies that they never be, it can be replicated again, right? So, and it says that's impossible. One of them is that uh, born of a virgin, right? Just Jesus did that according to the scriptures. Other is that he died for, sin, for sinners while being in the flesh and without sin, right? So all the mankind, right? We know that uh, is born in sin, is in sin, sin, right? now. there's nobody that, has no sin just jesus born in a perfect way without sin right so that's uh, another prophecy that can uh, cannot be replied and the other one is that about the resurrection right it's, he's the only one that resurrected right so that's all the those are the prophecies that can be replicated so that's why uh, we um, we need to know the scriptures and we need to understand these prophecies and that only uh, the one that was able to, to fulfill perfectly in these prophecies are Jesus, right? So the, but the most important thing here, we see uh, a lot of scripture today about the, the fulfillment of the prophecies. But the most important thing that we need to understand is who fulfilled all these prophecies. Who, right? Who is for Jesus? Jesus is the Messiah, right? Amen. Hallelujah. He fulfilled exactly all these prophecies. Exactly. He is the one. That's why we get testimony that he is the one that the scriptures talks about. Uh, they uh, does not talk about, about the other thing that just the fulfilling in Jesus, right? That he is the Christ. And this gave us life. This, this is the faith that gave us life, eternal life with him. He's, he's God with us. That's the most important thing that we need to believe, right? So we can, we, uh, if, we, if we read all the more than 300 prophecies, but we don't understand that, that Jesus fulfilled this and he is the Christ, that we have the faith that he is the Christ. But just we read these prophecies as, as more knowledge. Uh, this uh, will, not, uh, will not give us life. We need to understand that. He's the one that is the war himself became flesh and fulfilled all these prophecies exactly in war, in action. Yeah, in all the signs were written to believe that he is the Christ because only that by this faith we gain eternal life again and we are with God again. And now we are able to do, to do the word evangelization with him, just believing that we are with him and that he is with us doing the word evangelization in 1 Corinthians 15, uh, 3, 4, it says, for what I received, I pass on to you, right? As he was, uh, uh, Paul, he's here, was testifying about Jesus that what I received, for what I received, I pass on to you as of first importance, the Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day, according to the scriptures. And through his life, we see that, with, through, with all his entire life, he, uh, Jesus demonstrated that he is the true and perfect king, that with his life fulfilling these prophecies, he demonstrated that he was proving that he is the true and perfect priest. And with his life, he was proving, fulfilling these prophecies that he is the true and perfect prophet, right? 
So that's why he, Jesus, is the Christ, right? He, with his, uh, uh, with his uh, life, he gave us testimony about that he is the Christ. And I want to read uh, another uh, last verse that is not here. So I'm going to read, uh, in, it's in John 19, just uh, before we finish. Uh -huh, John, John 19. Mm -hmm. yes uh it's it's something very very powerful because he was fulfilling everything so uh it's in john um let me just find uh, i was uh, open this verse here but my computer was closed so <clears throat> it's in it says when Jesus had tasted it, he said in, in John uh, 19, 30, it says, when Jesus had, had tasted it, he said, it is finished. Then he bowed, he bowed his head and released his spirit. So it is finished, right? It's finished right now. It's finished eternally. He fulfilled everything and he knew that he came here in order to be in obedience to the Father. So now if we are really, uh, if we really believe, we need to understand that that is finished and this faith that no, it's not a problem anymore in my life. So uh, I always, uh, uh, I pray for that the Lord gave us, uh, in order to the Lord gave us more this faith that is finished, that you are the Christ that you fulfill everything. And that's why uh, we need to understand and we need to, to be in this, um, in this understanding and pray because he's the one, as we see in Luke 24, right? That he was talking with his disciples and he was the one that opened their understanding about what the scripture says, talks about, that talks about him. As I told you, says in, in Luke uh, 24, to the disciples, um, he was telling them, as I told you before, that all the scriptures talks about, about me. I am the one, I am the world became in flesh, the flesh, the world before them, right? I am the one. And now go and spread this good news to every creature. So with this, this faith, so uh, thank you very much. And that's why um, we need to ask for the Lord, uh, for we need to ask for more faith to the Lord, always in this. So let me uh, let me finish with with pray. Uh, so Heavenly Father, thank you, because you allow us to understand your word, Father, and to be with you, and that's the most important thing, Father, to be with you, because only understanding that you fulfill everything, that you finished everything, that you solved the, our problem. We don't have problems anymore. We have this faith and that's why we uh, go through the nations traveling around the world, spreading this good news, Father, that you fulfill everything, that you are the one, you are the Christ, you are the anointed one of God, that you, Father, uh, yeah, and you are the one that gave us this faith. And thank you, Father, because you allow us to, to be here in this morning sharing this good news father thank you thank you for the scriptures thank you for the word because and thanks because you are now with us father thank you in the name of jesus who is the christ amen 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 hallelujah amen. Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah hallelujah glory to god glory to god thank you so much pastor Pastor babila that is so deep wow our faith rests upon this truth Amen. And Amen. this truth can never be duplicated. The devil can't duplicate it. He can't duplicate it. Amen. So he did not Amen. die for himself. He died for our sins according to the scripture. The sin that separated us from God. He resolved our sin problem. He fulfilled all the messianic covenant. What Amen. a faith. And without wasting time, we want to go into a deep prayer of intercessions. Uh, we're going to invite Pastor Prince wise from Liberia to take us through the times of intercessions. I really want us to pray deeply. Let's go release grace Hallelujah. upon us to truly believe. Hallelujah. Please, you can go ahead, Pastor. Pastor, 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 Past
We give God glory, we give God praise, give God honor for such a mighty teaching, send a process for send Messiah. And I love the chance there that you forgive all of the prophecies is Jesus. Jesus fulfill all of the prophecies of the desire. If all of the desire prophecy, and based on that they say to the disciples, something was open. Understanding when we reveal him of them, understanding was of therefore no proof that God opened our understanding. If as I receive this lesson today, God will open our understanding, our understanding will be high as possible. In the vision setting, the eyes of our understanding will open that the spirit of wisdom and revelation will do us. I want us to take it at 12.3. Right now, everyone just pray for God. Our understanding open, open our understanding for our understanding. That the relationship of Christ will be real, or let it confirm the spread of the law of the United States. Let's start making the total. 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 Christ was better obtained. He rose from the decay. Shall the boy hear that? He had that according to the chain. Yeah, 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pastor Priest. Thank you so much for the intercession time. We thank God. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you so much. So we're going to ask uh, Pastor Alex from Ghana to round up this uh, prayer for us, and after that we're going to uh, have an important uh, announcement. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we are so much grateful unto you for this time and this moment, for this revelation, oh God, that you have shared through your servant unto us. We thank you that there is only one person, Jesus, who is the Christ, has fulfilled all the Messianic promises, all the Messianic covenants. We thank you. We thank you. We give you praise and we give you glory. You said it, it is finished. You have solved the problem of sin. We thank you. You have solved the problem of Satan. We thank you. We have solved the problem of separation. We thank you. Now we pray, oh God, for all the international community, all the disciples, oh God, in the continent of Africa, in the continent of Asia, in the continent of America, in the continent of Europe, may you give us deep understanding. May you give us deep understanding. May you give us the boldness that you will fear nothing, but you will go out there. We will share, oh God, nothing but Jesus, who is the Christ. We thank you. We bless you, oh God, even for Pastor Cho and the family. We thank you for the great work that you are doing, even in these times and this moment, through the disciples. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, who is the Christ, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's call on uh, Mishra Nina from South Korea. Uh, she's going to give us some uh, important uh, announcement. Mishra Nina, please, can you unmute your microphone? Thank you. Amen. Um, thank you so much, Pastor Balta, for your message. Um, as I listened to all the prophecies, I really felt great love of God. Um, God really want us um, to understand um, the Messiah, to know who Messiah is. That's why he had to set up so many hints, so many stories over the history of Israel, over the mankind's history. He has put up all these signs. Amen. So I thank God for your life and for the message and for um, your wife as well. Amen. Um, as we, after we receive the gospel and we try to obey the covenant and as we live our life and we, we feel like, yes, we are ready. Now we are going to run. But it's true that we receive this strong power and hope and vision to go on. But at the same time, um, we see we see all the situations too. We see all the problems too. So it's also true that we sometimes fall. It's also true that we see weakness in ourselves. 
So what we need to do uh, is that we need to hold on to the gospel every day. We need to immerse ourselves to the gospel so that we'll not just know the gospel, but we'll be able to obey and live by it. Um, as uh, by the grace of God, um, I'm communicating many disciples from different countries. And I can tell you that there is no one country without conflict, without a problem. Not even one country say, oh, my country have no problem. I have no problem, no issue, no conflict. The problems are there. The issues are there. The reality is there. However, the difference is God is with us. The difference is now we know the solution. We have the gospel. But the thing is, whenever we are attacked, whenever we see the reality, we fall, we're discouraged. So the only thing we need to do is we, we let the gospel to influence us. We immerse ourselves to the gospel. So we've been praying, how can we help disciples in different nations to really go deeper into the gospel? Um, so we've been praying. So it's important for disciples to, to listen to the message um, continuously. And also what will be the method for different, you know, some people do not speak English, some people do not speak Korean, or some people do not speak Spanish. How can we help them? So we've been praying and we created this YouTube channel. I just shared the, the address in the chat. If you click on it, it's a playlist the first message of the English playlist. So what we did was Pastor Cho, um, he recorded the gospel message, but in a very short, um, he recorded short gospel messages, but 61 of them. So each message lasts around 10 minutes and it, it basically breaks down the gospel message in different parts. So you can first of all you can enjoy this message you know in the morning or when you travel or when you're busy so that you cannot um sit through for the you know one hour message you can just play this short message and allow yourself to to you know emerge yourself in the gospel right so you can really utilize this because the faith comes from hearing but hearing what hearing the message of the christ so i hope it will be helpful for you and then also what we can do is um, you can send these short messages to your friends, to, um, you know, to the places that you cannot travel because of the virus, or you, know, you want to do follow-ups, but you're so busy. So maybe you can send this message so that that person can listen to it. And when the person shows the reaction, you will be able to continuously help that person. So um, the, now we are working on the English message is done. Spanish is done. We're working on the French messages and also several Asia languages too. And like, for example, we're working on Telugu, Hindi, or Tagalog, or Nepal language and different languages. So our goal is we might be able to translate these videos into different languages uh, so that this gospel message, the gospel that Jesus is the Christ can travel to very small tribe, you know, in the, to the place that we cannot go. Because this generation, God has allowed this great platform online. That's why we can meet through this platform. But even when we're not having this meeting, we can still share the gospel using this YouTube channel. So I hope that you'll be able to check this channel out. If you click on it, you'll be able to watch the very first message but it will be continues until 61. And we actually put a lot of effort and time to record this, but we did this not to, um, you know, do some or uh, another purpose, but for us, for the disciples to really go deeper, deep into the gospel, to really let them understand the gospel so that the gospel will become the clear standard of their life. And also will be able to easily evangelize other people, let them hear the gospel, let the message travel. Because we need to go to the ends of the earth. Yes, we need to travel there. But when we go there, what do we do? We testify, we preach the gospel. If we just go there and sit there, that's <laughs> there's no meaning of going to the ends of the earth, right? We go there and we testify the gospel. So 
it's great. It, we will do that. But at the same time, when we cannot go there physically, we will let the message to travel to the ends of the earth. So please utilize this channel, watch it yourself, share it, like it, subscribe it so that if you like and subscribe and watch, then other people who have not heard the gospel will be able to be exposed to this link because of the algorithm that YouTube uh, works by. So I hope that many of you will be able to um, will be able to participate in this little project. So that was the announcement that I wanted to make. And if you want to volunteer for translating um, the message into your own language, or you know, if you speak a certain language that you want, you, you think you can translate this message into, that will be great as well. So thank you. That was the announcement. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Nina. Yeah, and also to her to that announcement. Yeah, please, uh, if you uh, if you can speak Arabic and English, yeah, please, uh, we need your we need your support for the North Africa. Yeah, so we wanted to reach to North Africa. So we need people who can translate from English to Arabic or Arabic to English. Please just uh, contact us. And if you have some pastors, friends in all the Arabic speaking countries in Africa or other places, please say, you can also contact us through that. And you can so that God can use our life for the world evangelizations of those areas. Okay. So we really want to thank you. And on next week, Saturday, by the grace of the law, we shall continue this uh, International Disciples Seminar. It's going to be a wonderful time uh, uh, next week, Saturday. And I also want to acknowledge everyone who has been able to participate today from Africa. We'll not be able to mention names one by one because we have people from different places. Pastor Bishop Shas from Tanzania. Bishop Shas from Tanzania. Yeah. Yeah. If you can hear me, you can just unmute your microphone to say hello to every one of us. Because every time when I ask you to say hello, you always keep it. <laughs> yeah. Let's hear your voice. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, oh, brothers. It's good to see you again. Yeah, Pastor uh, Bishop Joe, Bishop Singbe, not you, not you. He's a uh, Pastor Shaz from uh, Tanzania. Yeah, thank you, oh, sorry, Pastor. Sorry, sorry, yeah, thank sorry. you. Thank you. I know you're on fire. I know you're on fire. Please just hold on your fire. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bishop Charles, you can uh, you can just say hello. Oh, I think your your network is uh, is is is. We can see your face and we see your heart. Your mouth was shaking. We really appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Alice. Uh, you've communicated. Thank you so much. That's great. So we want to thank everyone from Asia. We want to thank you so much from all the different part of the countries, Asia. Yeah, I want to thank you so much. And also today we want to really thank God, Pastor Prince from Liberia. Thank you so much. And also Pastor Shalom from Myanmar, who was able to take off through the worship time. We really appreciate you. The worship was so deep. And thank you, Lord, Pastor Bashasa Vavila from uh, Mexico. We want to appreciate you. And our own sister, Junad, Junan from Nigeria, who was able to lead us through the intercessions before the meeting. We thank you so much for your heart. We really bless every one of you from uh, North America. We thank you so much. From Latin America, we thank you. Lusma, we thank you so much. I bless God because uh, Lusma was not really feeling fine, but she was able to still participate today. Thank you, Lusma. The Lord is your strength. We really appreciate you so much. And upon this note, from South Korea, we want to say good night from here. And from you, from all the part of Europe, we want to say have a wonderful day from Africa. We want to say enjoy the rest of your day from Asia, from North America, from Latin America. We want to say please have a wonderful day. We love you so much. We keep praying for you. And also from South Korea, uh, Edda Timothy, we appreciate you so much and all the Korean teams who have been able to join this meeting that we are praying for you and for all our well wishers, our viewers on YouTube channel who are watching through the YouTube channel and for those who will still watch this meeting on Facebook because we're unable to live stream through Facebook today because of technical issue. So we want to say that we love you so much. 
and uh, upon this note, wanted to uh, unmute your microphone. Uh, let's let's exchange greetings with one, mm. one another. Mm. I want to say good night. Yeah, next week Saturday we're going to meet Bye. again. My God's grace. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Yeah, thank you so much. Bless you. Time to be here. Uh, 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 uh,